My name is Jana Darling and I am a best-selling romance novelist. Welcome to my channel. Today I am in Edinburgh, Scotland for a signing called Rare and it is at the Edinburgh Convention Centre. It's the night before the signing. I just got here from the Highlands. If you haven't watched it, I did a vlog on all of the really fun things I did in the Highlands like falconry and clay pigeon shooting and off-roading. It was so much fun, so much adventure. Now it's time to get down to work. I'm going to be there all day tomorrow from like 9 until probably 9 a.m. till 10 p.m. probably. Also, I'm missing my sign, like my banner, my tablecloth, my pens, my swag. A bunch of stuff didn't make it because of customs, which sucks, but this these things happen. Also, my asking for trouble girl hardbacks. I've been having so much trouble. Like I've redone the formatting, had my formatter redo the formatting four times. Uh, there was a problem with the keywords the first time. There was a problem with the hardcover, um, actual cover dimensions. There was so many things. So I keep uploading it. Amazon says it's fine. And then I get an email when it goes live that it's not fine. So anyway, long story short, those aren't gonna be there tomorrow. And we're waiting on one more box. It's supposed to arrive by end of day today, fingers crossed. It has my Serpentine Valentine um, special editions. It's just a bit of a gong show. So happily all my readers are lovely and I'm so excited to meet everyone. But yeah, it's been a bit mangy this signing, which is not ideal, but things happen. My first signing I ever did was in Vegas and all of my books ended up going to like the wrong address. So my husband, at the time he was my boyfriend, this was like six years ago, four, five years ago, six years ago, um, ended up getting paying a taxi driver to go from California, like Southern California to Vegas the night before the signing so that I could have books for the signing. So things happen, okay? We know this, I'm pretty chill, unruffled girl, so it's fine, it's gonna be okay. We'll be really excited, I'm excited to be in Edinburgh, I'm excited for the signing and to meet all my lovely readers, so yeah. But for tonight, we're dropping off our stuff here, then we're going to uh, check into the witchery for one night because it's a gorgeous hotel, I've always wanted to stay there. We're staying in the library suite and I'm pretty sure the door is behind a bookcase, which is so cool. And then I'm going for dinner with my agent and publicist Georgie and her daughter Valentine is one of my best friends and some other author friends. So it's a jam-packed evening, it's a jam-packed tomorrow. And then Saturday in Edinburgh, we get to just hang out and I'm gonna hang out with my assistants and see the city and also my cousin lives here. She just finished at the University of Edinburgh doing her master's in environmental science and I'm gonna see her too. So anyway, jam-packed trip here and I can't wait. Okay guys, this is incredible. We totally splurged on one night in Scotland, in Edinburgh, at the witchery, which I'd heard so much about, and one of my best friend's sisters came here on her honeymoon, and she was like, gee, you've gotta go. You'll love it so much. It's so you. We're staying in the library suite. Oh my God, let me give you a tour, you guys. It's out of this world. I wish we were staying here for the whole time, but it's only one night. Hayden is getting up super early to go golfing, um, like an hour and a half away, so he's gonna miss kind of the perks. And we're also going out for dinner tonight, which sucks. I wish we were just staying here, but oh my God, let me show you how beautiful it is. Okay, so you come in the door to the library suite. Hello. And you come up these stairs. It's very dark in here, which is atmospheric, but not great. There's a pat, like a, a bathroom right here that has this old fashioned everything and the wallpaper. This is just wallpaper in here, which you can see because it's the library room, obviously for a romance author. You come in here and look at this. This is actually like, I don't know if you can quite tell, but this is actually wood and it's engraved with books. So it looks like it's real. You come in, this is where I'm gonna have breakfast tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Look at this room, you guys. Look at the chandelier, the wallpaper. Everything is perfect. It's all a vibe, except for the Dyson hairdryer, which I'm actually really excited about because I've got the signing tomorrow. So I actually need this, but that's what you can see more what I was saying about the doors. This is carved into the wood, which is incredible. I just cannot. And like, look at the door the detail, the crown molding. It's incredible. This is a very, very, very happy Gianna. Oh my gosh, I cannot, I'm freaking out. This is so cool. Coffee station, fireplace and mantle, old Scottish white man, very appropriate. Closet, my Congress 
suitcase. Out here is like the one of the oldest parts of Scotland that we're looking out onto. And then, voila, look at that, you guys. I'll just give you a second to enjoy. How beautiful is this bed set up? I cannot. In this giant thing is a TV with a remote control. It's another little bookcase built in right here. It's very church-like. Honestly, this evokes Sierra to Simone to me. Like, I have to talk to her. I don't think she stayed here before. I think we spoke about it, but like, this is her to a T. And I'm th thinking about her while, <laughs> while I'm in here, but exquisite. And then look at the bathroom, which is, this is also um, like cushioned walls. Like I could sleep on the walls. And then this is the bathroom. Once again, there's this like lovely carved wood books. Incredible sink. Look at the tile and the beautiful draperies. Another fireplace and then the holy grail tub. This tub is insane. I'm gonna stay up all night just so that I can enjoy the suite and I'm going to have a bath when I get back. I am not staying out late tonight, you guys, at all. I am milking this room for all it's worth. I did not quite realize how freaking exquisite it is. I'm, if you can't tell, I'm just like over the moon about this room. Totally worth it, so exciting. It gives me all of the Enslaved Duet vibes. This is so Enslaved Duet and it makes me, gives Dark Academia, it gives me Serpentine Valentine vibes. I love Dark Academia, I love old school British. I grew up in British Columbia in Canada, so I love this kind of thing. I think it's so cool and I'm just obsessed with all the details. Love it here. Highly recommend The Witchery, guys. Super splurge, super, super exciting now. Oh my gosh, I am thrilled. <laughs> when they also give you complimentary chocolates, you know that this is a great place. Cheers, cheers. cheers. Hungry, hungry girl. Beautiful, hungry girl. <laughs> Why we like it. I really don't. <laughs> Good morning. It is the day of the signing. I'm exhausted because my husband woke up at um, 4.30 this morning, 4.45 this morning to go to golf. He's going to, I don't know what it's called, Great the Great Barn or the Old Barn a golf course, which if you're a golfer, you might know about. It's a popular one in Scotland. He woke me up, I couldn't go back to sleep because I knew I had to get up at 6.30. Anyway, I just had a very hot shower, which was lovely in this beautiful tub. And I'm in all my cozies and I'm gonna start getting ready, um, put on my face. And Jess is meeting me here for breakfast. We're having breakfast at eight. She's meeting me here at 7.30 so we can take some content in this gorgeous room. I didn't bring any of my books to take pictures or to take videos with, but I did bring a plain hardcover book with a white wrap because if you take a picture with a white book, it's easy to impose a cover on with graphic design. So I get my graphic designer to do that so that I don't have to bring all my books on all my trips. Because actually this trip, I've been in Scotland, which um, has the Enslaved Duet setting. Um, I'm going to Italy, which has the Antiheroes in Love setting and the setting for my upcoming uh, duet with Montlake. So anyway, I needed a lot of books, so I brought this one, it was my hack, but it means that I don't really know what we're gonna do for video content, which is what we're taking this morning, mostly. We're doing some photos too. Anyway, we'll figure, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm super upset because I'm gonna be tired today and I have bags under my eyes, but it is what it is. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna be signing until 9.30 tonight with a break for dinner between at seven for like half an hour, I think. Anyway, it's gonna be a long day. Debbie, my wonderful reader who lives in Edinburgh, who got the books shipped to her house, is gonna be dropping them off this morning at 9.30, which is why we have like an earlier call time. And then I'm gonna try and sign a bunch, pre-sign a bunch of them before the signing starts at one. 1.30, so yeah, it's gonna be a long day. Last and only morning in this gorgeous place, so I'm trying to enjoy it while I can. Hi, Jess. Drinking your tea. Okay, Jess is here, and we're gonna do some Hi. content in the room, plus also just have breakfast together because Hayden left and I was having a two-person breakfast in this fantastic little abode. See here. So, Jess is here, and then we're gonna go find pens, oh, and nice. because we don't have anything today. It's gonna be a bit mangy, but we will persevere and it'll be okay. So 
You're incredible. Okay, signing is over. Okay, um, great. We're having a chat about trying to go to Babe next year with one of the organizers. Bye. Okay, literally every vlog I ever do with <laughs> Be Around, she's like, mm, 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 mm. I love it so much. It's okay. I saw the and I was like. <laughs> it's time to go. It honestly would not be a vlog if you were not doing that. Um, we're done. You can see there's no one. Well, there's my team. There's Fiona Cole, the great. And her husband's back there. And then my husband's somewhere. He's right here. And then no one is there because everyone is going. It was really good. It was really busy. We were missing half our stuff, but it still went okay, right? And let's say thank you to these lovely ladies. Thank you, my sweet angels. <laughs> this one's a sweet angel. This one's not, no, I'm just kidding. This one's a sweet <laughs> angel. <laughs> and this one went golfing. <laughs> Hi everyone. Last full day in Edinburgh. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a tired voice as you can hear because I spoke to hundreds and hundreds of people yesterday, but it was amazing. The signing went really well. We didn't get tons of footage because we were super busy, but God, I have the best readers. We didn't have teas, totes, the Serpentine Valentine special editions, um, art, art prints. We didn't have a lot of stuff and everyone was just like so lovely and understanding. Um, it happened to a few authors at the signing actually, like Lulu Moore also, her stuff was in customs. So such is life at an international signing, it's all good. Everything was wonderful. Um, I just have the best readers and you know, they always say, are you tired? Oh, you must be sore, your hand must hurt. You don't even feel any of that because you're just so excited to meet people who've read your words, who love your words, who get excited over them. Um, it's the best feeling in the world, it never gets old. I've been doing this for eight years now and it's just still as remarkable as day one when the very first person read my book and left a review. So I'm so grateful, I'm filled with gratitude and joy and I think that's what fuels me through the long days. Yesterday it was eight hours of signing and I actually was at the signing from like nine until 9.45, it's a long time, um, but it was great. And my assistants are amazing. Sarah is one of my dearest friends. She's from Australia. She came all the way over for this. And Jess is one of my um, assistants normally. And she assisted me here in Scotland and she's the best. Um, many people have actually found me through YouTube um, through Jess. So it was kind of fun that she was assisting me because a lot of people were like, oh my God, peace, love books. You know, I, I read Gianna through you or I watch your YouTube all the time. and. <clears throat> that was really cool as well. So, great day. Um, today we are gonna go for brunch with my assistants. Um, Jess is bringing her sister. I'm gonna try and see my cousin who actually lives here. She is, I guess I can take this off. She actually lives here. She is just finishing up her master's at the University of Edinburgh. Um, and then we're gonna have dinner tonight at Dishoom, which I'm thrilled about. Probably gonna see Valentine again, hopefully, because I won't see her until Vegas otherwise. And she's one of my very dearest friends. I just love her to bits. So, Lots of fun socializing today, looking around Edinburgh. Work is kind of officially over for me, and next up is the honeymoon, which I'm thrilled about. We leave tomorrow early morning to go to Naples um, and then the Amalfi Coast. So I'm really excited about that, and I hope you guys join me on that journey too. But for now, let's have our last day in Edinburgh. <laughs> We are spending the day exploring. We had some hot chocolate, we had brunch. We got, well, Sarah got some bags, four bags, <laughs> like tartan bags. Um, we bought some, I bought a book. I bought the, what's it called? House of, House of Earth and Blood. House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass, because I haven't read that series yet. Uh, and Jess said it's good. And Jess got a tote from Book Lover Bookshop, which is so cute. <laughs> yeah, so we've been doing pretty well and now we're in Dean Village and it's super pretty and then we're going to go meet my cousin who lives here and go to like a little market in Newtown and then we're gonna go for tea. We're having a very 
Scottish day, which is great. <laughs> we deserve it after all the hard work we did. <laughs> Start, you start at the bottom. Bottom up. Oh, bottom yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Is this your first tea baby? It is. I'm learning. <laughs> As he drinks beer with his pinky oh ass. So Hi, sweetie angel. Thank you very much. Hey, I kind of want to see that. Thank you so much. I've never been to high tea here. I'm so glad it's a Amazing. Stay in Edinburgh. So in January, two years ago, I decided to Hi everyone, it is three in the morning <laughs> on our last day in Edinburgh. We are about to fly out to Naples for our Italian portion of the trip. It's uh, the first leg of our honeymoon and I'm super excited. I'm exhausted. I went to sleep at like midnight or I think it was midnight and obviously I got up at 2.30 to get ready to go, so I'm exhausted. But we had such a fun time in Edinburgh. I'm so sad to be living in the city. It's one of my favorite places in the world. I had so much fun meeting all my readers again here. So many for the first time, so many again. It was fabulous. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week for more. Bye.